Okay. Hello there, Internet. My name is Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing uh, Midnight Scenes. I don't know what's going to happen here, but we're going to go ahead and bring that up a little bit. Bring you down a little bit. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to find out. Okay. Off to a good start. I did go for the retro, didn't I? Hi. You gonna blink? Oh, there we go. Oh, well, thank you. That's so kind of you. On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed. Tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this. What will happen? What will I look like? Oh, this is gonna look great. Um, future me, you're kind of fucked. Welcome to. Why did the music cut out? Another dimension. Ooh, if I can get that, it'd be perfect. Welcome to Midnight Scene. Fuck it, okay. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Oh, I'll watch about this game. It was on Steam. And it's a horror game. Ooh, Evil Harp. Hi, buddies. Is that Professor Utonium's house? October 1986. Okay, I'm gonna have to just... Wait just a little bit. I'm still afraid of copyright, damn it. Move your thumb. Good morning. My name's John Wilson. My name's John Wilson. Ed. <gasps> he has a twin. Good morning. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger. My evil double haunts you. Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Ah! Oh. I was not expecting this. Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. You can be a little shit of a brother. They're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. Oh boy. I hate them. I like that they're moving just like... Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. Tina is savage. What are you playing anyway? Ha! <laughs> I still can't believe they bought me another identical penny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all, I swear to God. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. Um. Can I have one of them? No way. I'd rather keep playing this stupid doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. Leave me alone. Is that your mom? No, that's Veronica. Don't worry. If anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Have a great trip. The bay is beautiful this time of year. 
Yeah. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should go. The plane leaves in three hours. We might hit some traffic. Oh no. Bye, kids. Be good. And don't push Veronica too hard. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dan. And just walks away. Why do I live in the Powerpuff Girls' house? Oh, Tina. All over. Well, here we are. We still have a couple of hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Don't want to watch TV or paint. I'm a kid in the 80s. Uh, watch TV, Ubs. Watch TV! The Amazing Jess Marks is about to start. I love that show. Of, of course you do. This TV entertainment is for dumb kids. Son of a bitch, Tina. I guess I should say daughter of a bastard. Let's paint. I know I need to swear less, but... I like to paint trucks that ex... I like to paint trucks that explode and... Your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. That's not true. Tina, like, did I talk to your brother like that? It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times. Don't you consider me family? Pfft. Pfft. Don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, looks like your sister is just in a mood today. Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. No. No, absolutely not. Let's go to the forest. Let's go to the forest. Uh, -huh. uh, the forest? On the other side of the lake. We won't die or anything, I promise. Can we go, please? That way I can look out for my toy truck. I lost it the other clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour. Then we come back, okay? Yay. You pick up... You pick up yours. Sure. And they were never to be seen again. Okay. Got him. And the rope. Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Sparkle a cat? Ah, that's where the oars go. Okay, I gotta go to the pier. Do either of you know how to row? I've never piloted a boat before. Leave it to the professionals! You hussy! But it's like, safe, right? No, don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. I like you. Ugh. Oh, get in the boat, lovebirds. I'm 12. You're weird. It sucks doing female voices, and I'm sorry. I can only make him sound like Mickey Mouse. There's nothing much I can do. <laughs> Mickey Mouse are a terrible valley girl. Oh, well, he did want to go see his truck. Can I go look for my truck? It can't be very far. You're always losing stuff. You'll lose your stupid head one day. Haha. <laughs> okay, you can go, but, like, don't walk too far away. I don't want to lose sight of you, okay? Just go back home. Fuck these people. Okay, I, I, I can do what I want. I'm an independent kid. In Pokemon, he'd be perfectly... He'd be uh, old enough to go on his own adventure. I'm going to get abducted. Aren't I? I'm going into the forest. Why is there a chocolate bar? People are so inconsiderate. I'm going to see a body. 
There's a drawing. Well, I mean, they're all holding hands, so that's what's important about this picture. I think. Much like the last story, and you see all of it. Oliver! It's the last door all over again. Uh, those are vases, and those are people... I don't know. Boxes? Boxes and vases. Tree stump. Ah. They say if you count the rigs, you can read their age. Um, this tree is four years old. Is that bones? Oh, someone died. Why am I going deeper in the forest? Oliver's dead boy, by the way. Is that a bolt? That's a finger. Okay. Okay, might be a little loud. Sorry, I'm still new to this. Bite me. Just want to keep it going, so we're here. Fuck it, it's fine. Okay, now we're just turning into Ward Warhouse. I'm glad I've come to the point in my YouTube thing with games. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My trek must be around here somewhere. I was saying, I'm glad I've come to this far and get playing games where I can make references to previous videos that you may or may not care about. Oh, it's my truck. Oh, you're... It's a rock. <laughs> here you... Here you are. Who put you here? Go. Where... Did you... Where did you come from? Hey, Oliver! Come here! There's something I want to show you. Uh-huh. Tina? Uh, nope. You're gonna go... What are you doing here? No. Oliver, go away. She doesn't have balloons. Well, he's gonna float. He's gonna float a lot. So many squirrels are in this forest. One time, they had a kid from town from head to toe. Only his bones remain. Uh -huh. I'm not lying. He was on the news. Same with... Uh... Never mind, I can't say that. Disney is litigious as AF. That's like so creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Don't ask me. I'm not the babysitter here. You are. Do your job. Oliver! I'm curious too. I'm following you. Wait, slow down. I can't keep up. Aha, uh -huh, I'm back now. Aha. Uh -huh. Holy shit. Oh no. Oliver! What's wrong? What the hell is that? This forest is. This forest is full of paintings like that's a painting. Dad says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one, though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks, um, recent. So creepy. You didn't paint it to scare passerby, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. Jesus, girl. Um, come on, it's time we go back home. I don't like this place, it gives me the creeps. Come, Oliver, let's go. Uh, Oliver? Well, he's, 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 he's fucking dead. Or he's murmuring, I don't know. Oliver! What? What's happening to him? Is he alright? 
Uh, no idea. Come on, get him to the boat. I wasn't expecting this, but I'm glad. Thank God you're back. How are you feeling? Um, what happened? A blood sugar drop, probably. Here, eat this chocolate. I found it on the ground in the forest. I'm sure you'll like a... It's good! Hazelnut's my favorite! Really? Mine too! Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. Uh, how long was I unconscious? My voice changed dramatically. You've been in and out of it for about ten minutes. You scared us to death! And Tina? Where is she? Uh, in her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. Uh, what do you mean? In the woods. She told me to follow her. I tried, but she walked too fast. Then I found that strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? I, I don't know. I, I guess. Come on. Rest while I heat up dinner. The lasagna I brought will surely bring you back to life. Wrong type of music for what just happened, but okay. I sit and cross like it on the table. Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy rosy face. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I, I think you're cool too. I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting kids. Hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? Uh, it's from the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. Scared someone. This is... This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he's always nice to the living. Baby zombie. Don't be fooled. Even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Uh, this one's the most evil. She devours brains. Aw. Aw. And this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? What a fantastic collection. What a fant- What a fantastic collection. I love it. Hey, hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. Uh, night. I need to plug in my charger, but something's definitely going to happen. Oh, okay. I don't like this. Ah, fuck. Hi. Oliver. Hey, Oliver. Oliver. Hey, Oliver, are you awake? Oliver! Uh, oh, that's Tina. Oliver! Oliver, are you awake? Tina? Tina! W what's wrong? It's Veronica. She's gone. She left us. She's downstairs. I hear the TV. Oh, yeah? Why don't you go down and check it out? I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking towards the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly when she should be taking care of us. Like like that other time. 
He made that up. You never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over to our garden with her. I saw them kissing. They're gonna die. It's in every horror movie trope. Ew. But this time, I have my camera. I'll take pictures. Oh, the girl? No. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from the window. I'm gonna get pushed out. See something? Oh, fuck. I forgot our voice is Mickey Mouse. The boat's missing. They've gone to the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. Um. I, I can see a light in the forest, but um, nothing more. Dad has the old binoculars in his office. And you want me to get them, of course. I have to keep watch in case they come back, huh? Come on. They must be in his desk, or in a drawer, or maybe in the closet. Uh, Dad would be f mad if he found out I've been snooping in his office. Dog tags? I wonder if Dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. That's still a gun drawer, isn't it? Just gonna ignore that one. Just gonna ignore you. Photographs. Ah. <laughs> like Veronica, but Miss Marquez was a super cool nanny. She had this eye patch, like Blackbeard. I miss her. She never would let me something. There they are. What's this? It's so squishy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That, that was kind of cool. Wait, has, has, has Dad been boning? Has he? I made a mistake. Uh, he hello? Hey, no swearing. Who, who is it? Okay, well. Veronica, please come back. Why did you leave us? Let me read that. Finally, come on, give me the binoculars, man. No way. I got them. It's my turn to look. Even though we haven't taken turns yet. What's up? We're gonna die. More crows. Definitely not looking in the direction where that's... I see Veronica. She's alone and looks confused. Hey wait, she stole my flashlight! Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from down there. <clears throat> we can't leave this house at night. Mom and Dad will find out. Okay, I'll go alone. But I'd lock myself in the... But I'd lock myself in the bedroom if I was you. You know, the goblin in the attic likes to hunt at night. And I won't be here to protect you. Fuck! You know, the goblin comes out at night and hunts. And I will not be here to protect you. Uh -huh. Oh, shut up. Sorry, coming. Yeah. Great. Get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. But we're not going to, are we? Of course not. It's just a precaution. <sighs> okay. I'll get the walkie-talkies. Impossible to see anything from here. I've taken the boat to the other. Sh They've taken the boat to the other shore. They've taken the boat to the other shore. Sorry, we'll have to walk around the lake on foot. I have a very bad feeling about this. 
Do you think I'm enjoying this? Yes. You would do anything to catch that... Catch Veronica in the act of something naughty. Of... Of course you are. Your mom. I don't like it when you get botsy like this. Why does everything have to be, do be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging the log of wine and cry, baby, either. Huh? So we both have to put up with it. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're not such a crybaby. Um. What now? There's something floating in the water. It looks like a bag. It's Veronica's bag. Uh, are you sure? Yes, see? It has Pierre the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? Hey, we'll never reach it from here. Uh, find me something long to get it with. Well, she's dead. Tina! Uh, are you okay? It's very cold. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. What do I do? Hey, 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 calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw me something to hold on to. Rope. I better tie the rope somewhere. Really, a dingus? <clears throat> Now, go find help. Miss Jordan is awake. I saw a light in her window. Um. Come on, go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of the walkie-talkies. That way I'll know you're okay. Did you just drop it in the water? It's not going to work, man. Well, I, you, the only way to get... The front door, you apparently don't know how to unlock it, so. Which I don't understand, but whatever. Oh, the keys. Really essential shit. Okay, oh, but uh, you didn't take the keys with you, you f dumbass kid. Better call Tina. Hope she's okay. Tina, are you still... Tina. Tina, are you still there? Yes, I'm freezing, though. Have you found help? I'm on it. Hurry up, you little dipshit. I hope that's not... Who the fuck is Sparkle? Where do I live? Oh, it's checking my earbud ear holes apart. Oliver! Mm. Oliver! What are you doing here? Is everything alright? Mrs. Jordan, I need your help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us and we went looking for her and... and It's okay. Okay, breathe. Come on in, it's cold outside. My sister's drowning. I don't care. What, um... Okay, slow down. What happened? Tina fell into the lake, off the pier. Oh my god, is she okay? Uh, yes, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with the babysitter, but she got she abandoned us. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. Ah. Someone's dead. Your sister... You stay here and attend Thomas, in case he needs anything. You know he requires special attention. He's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be right back. Uh... Oliver? What are you doing here? 
Tina's in trouble. Your mom went to help her. Really? I thought my mom was taking a bath upstairs. Sorry, sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? Bum, 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 bum. She fell in the lake and can't get out. Seriously? Well, don't worry. Mom is very strong. She'll pull her out of the water. Come on, she'll be fine. I swear, though, I thought Mom was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. How, how, how do you feel? Physically or uh, mentally? Uh, mentally? Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. Oh. It's been hard, and Mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Other than that, I feel wonderful. Do you not see the oxygen tank I'm hooked up to, you fucking idiot? Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Of course, ask away! About your illness. Are... What the fuck sort of question is that? Are you going to die soon? I'd be very lonely. You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. Don't ask me that again. Mom always makes plans for the future. <laughs> but I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. Oh, this got depressing real quick. Oh, shit. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was before I was born. <laughs> uh, you never told me how your father died. I don't know. Mom never talks about it. One day he got a call from the doctor and suddenly stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. Jesus. Uh, sorry, I'm sure he loved you very much. I don't know, he changed a lot. Um, anyway, let's uh, stop talking about... Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something. It's super cool. A Ouija board? I found it in Mom's closet. I think she uses it to talk to Dad. Come on, who do you want to contact? There are a lot of people I want to talk to. Uh, I want to contact... Miss Marquez, my old nanny. Well, that seems that there's going to be some trouble. The music stopped. She lived in this house before you moved in. Also, that's... That there is very disconcerting. I need to make sure that this is, game is down. Okay, because that... There we go. Okay, that's much better. Sorry, I have to check that out. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. Wow, kid. One day she suddenly disappeared. Mom told us she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. Farm upstate. But Tina says she saw an ambulance in the police. We think something horrible happened to her. Mothers lie, you know. Mothers lie, you know. They do it to protect us, but they lie. They lie. There we go. That's the voice. We're, we are going to contact your old babysitter. She died in a something. It'll be super cool, you'll see. I don't know. Come on, this is fun. Here, put your hand on the triangle thing. It's called a planchette. Now, I'll add my hand and we join our energies. Now close your eyes. Do you have them closed? Yep. Not me, though. Not you guys, I bet. Good. Now focus your old babysitter's image. I, I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? 
Are you kidding? Could be a lot. Let me see. There's a, why is there a kiss on there? Super cool. She really looks like a pirate. I just realized that there's lipstick on that. This picture will attract your spirit. Come on, put it next to the board. Let's start. She had an affair with the father. I guarantee it. I don't know if I'll like this. Relax, we can stop it whenever we want. We'll simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? No. You're moving it! It's not me, it's your nanny spirit! Nope. I'm not. Huh? Uh. Uh. Do, do you have a leak? The, the bathroom is right above... Oh, no. The bathroom is right above us. Maybe Mom left the tap running. Don't get up. I'm going to take a look. Wait here. Your mom... is dead. This Midnight Zombies poster is the best. Ugh. Ugh. Oh boy. This is good though, but uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Nice callback. Also, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god! Miss Jordan? But how? I don't get it. If this is Miss Jordan, then who's with Tina? Tina! Tina, are you there? That Miss Jordan is not the real Miss Jordan. Miss Jordan is dead. There's, there's blood everywhere. Tina, do, do you hear me? I need to get some sleep. I have to go to the pier quickly. Oliver, what is it? I heard you scream. Uh, stay here. Don't go upstairs, okay? Why? What happened? Oh, was it an open tap? Listen to me. I have to go find Tina. You stay here. Call the police. Do what I tell you. The, the police? But because of an open tap? Just do it and tell them to come fast. But Oliver! You'll be fine, kid. What's the police phone number? 911. You damn. Yeah, Tina's dead. Which is good, because I can't do that freaking Mickey Mouse voice anymore. Tina! Oh no, she's she's gone. Hmm. Okay. Those are shoes. Possible shoe. The fuck is that? There are footprints leading to the path of the borders of the lake. Has Miss Jordan's double taken Tina to the woods? But why? I have to go find her. That scrolls. Tina? Veronica? Rabbit squirrel? <gasps> My flashlight! I'll just uh, give that to the squirrel. Here, have fun. Yeah, that was a smart idea. 
I didn't have to take up too many details for that one. Light the way. I don't even know who the devs are for this game. Kind of cruel, actually. Oh, hey, there you are. Tina, thank goodness I found you. Miss Jordan has a double. She murdered the real Miss Jordan and came for you. This is horrible. Uh, come with me, Oliver. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Where, where are you going? Something, something about Veronica, probably. Future Mio's up there for a frame. Good luck. This is a problem with point and click. I keep tapping my fingers on the thing. Hi. What was that? Tina, where, where are you? Creepy? Yeah, no, no, we're not gonna. V Veronica, oh my God. W what is happening? Well. Oh, okay, got me there. <laughs> My little Oliver, it's time for bed. May I sing you a lullaby? Miss Marquez is Oliver's father. I gotcha. That's why. He, this D-bag, had an affair with Miss Marquez. And all of her is bored. And so she's out for vengeance. Don't worry, we'll find them. Even if we have to turn the world upside down. I've never seen anything like it. Two children kidnapped? The neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub? The babysitter's missing? What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter in the woods. She's fucking dead. Any clues on the kids? Well, actually, there's something else. You better see with your own eyes, though. Oh, this ain't over yet. Yep. God, poor girl. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. If you think it's that strange, you haven't seen all of it yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see? Agent, point the light at the painting. What the hell? All right. Good, cool. Ow! Sorry, cat. Ow, 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 just, 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 no, no, you're closer, you're closer, you're closer, it's okay. Poor Oliver, poor Tina. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret. Something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between the two siblings and the creature of the forest. Nope, kick. Okay. Anybody, just wait. The eye is talking. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Screens with us. Remember to shut your windows and lock your doors tight before bed. Creatures of the night 
are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. No, it's not barbecue chips. Okay, I'm on barbecue chips. Future me, put these two together. Midnight Scenes, The Nanny. Written and designed by Octavio Navarro and Susanna Granell. Production, Susanna Granell. No, stay away from... Oh, oh. Thank you for watching, playing, streaming. This guy, thank you. Midnight Seeds is up. Filmed before in front of the live studio audience. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I've seen you get murdered by a cat. Ugh, man. Well, that's been Midnight Scenes. Future me, put them together. If you cobble up all the wandering around, it should be fine. It's a super simple game. Beautifully done. Pixelated horror. And a really good jump scare at the end. And I think that's one that's always going to be terrifying. And not to mention, the story was given in subtext if you pay attention to the, the background details. But... Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!